hope you guys are doing great uh for me i'm doing good actually so um i want to talk about something today so basically this video um i was supposed to like have a haircut and all the stuff because as you know as the previous videos like it was just like this in my life and me getting my life back together and uh I had already planned how I wanted the things to go and actually the previous videos were uploaded uh, very very earlier so I was like I have time to maybe get some money and uh, have a haircut do a video of me going to the barbershop have a haircut and all the stuff so in this video actually I was supposed to like present my new haircut and all the stuff but again as you can see i don't have a haircut and uh actually i kind of learned something because i wanted my youtube channel to just be like something perfect and all the stuff but a friend of mine as i always say she's like a big sister to me so she told me like just look at this as a digital diary so later on i would i can come back and always see how far i've came from i've come from do we say that i've came from i've come from actually i'm not a native english speaker i am because my country is bilingual but just that while growing up i learned french more than english Anyway, it's not important. So what I wanted to say is like, things uh, don't need to be perfect. Actually, no one's perfect. First of all, someone who's perfect doesn't exist on this earth. Only God is perfect. So if you ever want to do something, just uh, do the thing. And what I mean is like, it's not bad to plan something. Okay, it's not bad to plan something, but at the end of the day, you can make plans. But if God doesn't want it to happen like the way you planned, it wouldn't. And you shouldn't be sad because God always does things in our best interest. So I guess it's not in my best interest to have a haircut, right? Because yes, I've had uh, a little bit of money here and there, but... Um, I didn't have like the amount for me to have a haircut directly so i've had like small pieces of money like i wouldn't say small because it was more than sufficient for me to eat and all the stuff but what i mean is like i couldn't get all the money at the same time to have the haircut so and again and i wanted to like save some money uh but i couldn't because Every time I try to save, there are like bills coming up. I need to eat and all the stuff. And I can't uh, privilege 
the haircut to my stomach because that's half like I need energy you understand but I won't lie like I've not been working for a long period of time and uh like bro I've been eating every day uh my rent is always been paid and I'm all right so God has been consistently providing for me because I don't have any source of money right now. But I've been eating. I actually took some weight because when I left the hospital, because I was hospitalized for close to two months, that's a story for another day. So when I left the hospital, I was like at 63 kgs and all the stuff. But now I'm like a bit more than 65. So God has been consistently providing for me. I can't remember. I can't remember the verse, but there is a verse whereby uh, they are talking about birds, like where it says, like uh, birds don't plant seeds and all the stuff, but their Father in heaven gives them all what they need. He provides for the shelters and all the stuff. And imagine, like God loves us more than the birds. So, I mean, like, there are so, so many things that have been happening into my life. And I'm just like, well, if this is not God, like, who is it? Because it cannot be somebody else other than God. Like, there are so, so many things. And uh, as my big sister said, this is a digital diary. And of course, maybe someday I will share with you some other things happening, some other things that I've seen and all the stuff because, bro, it was a crazy experience when I was uh, in the hospital, like a really, really crazy experience and all the stuff. But again, as it is said in Exodus 14, 14, the Lord, your God, will fight your battles and you won't have nothing to do. So I guess I'm just leaving it right now because at the end of the day, we human beings are just so weak because we think we're strong, but we're not. We're not like we're just so weak. And if it's not like by the love of God, I mean, what can we do? Like we can make plans, we can do everything, but if it doesn't approve, it wouldn't go, it wouldn't work, you know. So that's just what I wanted to say today. So maybe in the next video, I'll we'll have a haircut. Would I know? I don't know, but God knows, definitely. So uh, actually, and I want, as I said earlier, I wanted to be very, very consistent with YouTube because I like YouTube. I like doing these videos and uh, yeah. So, well, you don't have to wait for the exact right time to do something. If you just feel like doing something, just do the thing. Of course, if you just feel like doing a good thing, just do the thing. Because it's not like you feel like doing a bad thing and you just do it like that. No, you need to think about it before doing it. So, yeah, that's just what I wanted to say today. And uh, see you. Yeah, see. <laughs>